Hello friends, in this video we will synthesize valeronitrile or cyanobutane. For this synthesis you will need 19.5 grams of sodium cyanide, 50 grams of 1 bromobutane and 60 milliliters of pure methanol. Start by transferring 19.5 grams of sodium cyanide to a 250 milliliter round bottom flask. Be very careful while handling sodium cyanide as it is very toxic. Gloves should be replaced after handling it. Next we add 25 milliliters of water to the flask. Here you can see me adding the water in small portions in a circular motion in the funnel so as to rinse the funnel and wash down everything to the flask. Sodium cyanide is extremely soluble in water. The beaker which contained the sodium cyanide was also rinsed and poured into the flask. Next we take another round bottom flask and add 50 grams of 1 bromobutane to it. 1 bromobutane was synthesized in one of my previous videos and link to that is provided in the description. Then 60 milliliters of methanol was added to it. Now the previous flask containing sodium cyanide solution is set up for reflex using a double surface condenser. Double surface condenser as the name suggests has two columns of water inside providing more surface area for the vapors to condense. Now the 1 bromobutane in methanol solution is added to the round bottom flask through the top of the condenser. Now the flask is heated gently. Soon a gentle reflex commences and the reflex was continued for another 8 hours. Now let us see the reaction that is taking place. Here a substitution reaction takes place where the bromide ion of the alkyl bromide is substituted with the nitrile ion also known as the cyanide ion to form valeronitrile also known as N-butyl cyanide and sodium bromide is also formed as the side product. After 8 hours the reflex was stopped and the flask was allowed to cool down to room temperature. A lot of sodium bromide precipitates out which can be removed by filtration. The filtrate is taken up in a distilling flask. It was set up for simple distillation with a water bath. This is to remove all the excess methanol. This is what remains after distilling methanol. Then the flask was set for distillation in a heating mantle. Around 125 milliliters of distilled water was added. We can clearly notice a dark red upper layer and that is the crude valeronitrile. Valeronitrile distills over with water. We can clearly see as the oily droplets pass over the distillation head and flows down the Frederick condenser. By about 20 minutes almost all of the valeronitrile distills over. The residue in the flask contains sodium bromide and some unreacted sodium cyanide and high boiling byproducts. The contents of the receiving flask was transferred to a small separatory funnel. In the separatory funnel we clearly notice the top layer and that is the valeronitrile. It was separated from the aqueous layer and was collected in a small round bottom flask. The compound was made water free by dumping some anhydrous sodium sulfate. The final yield that we collected was 7.9 grams. Valeronitrile has a very peculiar stinky smell that reminds of rotten fish. So that's all in this video, hope you have enjoyed the video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially helping me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links for both of them are given in the description. Once again thank you for watching, do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my future videos. Thank you.